In most college classes, instructors expect students to read texts, or view multimedia, or listen to audio materials. But how can you tell whether students understand the materials you've assigned? One way to gauge students' understanding is by asking them to write a one-sentence summary. These summaries require students to sift through a long sample of writing, a speech, or a video, and then pull out the most important elements. Then, students put those elements back together to create something new, a concise and complete summary in the student's own words. So, how can you help your students write a one-sentence summary? Teach them how to use prompt questions, such as who, does what, to whom, when, where, why, and how, to identify the important points. By asking students to answer these questions, you get them to focus on what really matters, rather than unimportant details. Let's say you're teaching a literature course, and your students are reading Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Many students have heard of the love story, but you want to know how well they understand Shakespeare's language and the action in the play, especially in the well-known Act Two, Scene Two. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief, that thou, her maid, art far more fair than she. Be not her maid, since she is envious. Her vestal livery is but sick and green, and none but fools do wear it. Cast it off. It is my lady, oh, it is my love, oh, that she knew she were. Sometimes students can pull answers directly from the text they're reading, but often they have to examine the context of the material to be able to answer the questions. The first time you assign a one-sentence summary, start by inviting students to answer the prompt questions in class or in an online discussion. Have students work in groups to critique each other's summaries. Romeo tells Juliet to poison her jealous maid on the balcony so the maid becomes sick and green. No way. Romeo asks Juliet's smoking hot maid to let him watch through the broken balcony window as Juliet gets naked at sunrise after drinking too much at the ball. Notice which questions are easy to answer and which they struggle with. Encourage them to talk through the difficult questions. Look for patterns in your students' summaries noting where they are strong and where they could be improved, and share your observations with the students. By giving and getting feedback, students learn to think critically about the material, and they get practice in defending their own viewpoint and graciously accepting another student's interpretation. After they've settled on a response for each prompt question, ask students to write their one-sentence summaries of the passage, adding only enough extra information to make a coherent statement in their own words. You're kidding, right? Romeo sees Juliet on her balcony at dawn after the ball, and because he loves her, he uses metaphor to compare her brilliant beauty to the sun as she transforms the night into day. With practice and good feedback from you and their peers, students will be able to write a solid one-sentence summary that demonstrates their understanding.